in trouble, and now they're going to get him. He really worked to get him down. It's a touchdown! Jarvis Landry, and he got hit, and he knocked him down. Boy, did he lay on for that ball. Getting pressure. He's getting swallowed up. They get to him again. Fires. End zone. Caught. Touchdown! It's Jarvis Landry! My name is Jamari Banks. I play for Gannon Lee. I play middle linebacker and outside linebacker. Hey, what's going on? This is Jarvis Nanji from the Cleveland Browns. My foundation has solely been, you know, obviously predicated on being able to help the youth any way we can give back, you know, constantly donating, trying to raise money, trying to raise awareness, whatever it may be. The Thanksgiving, we did something with the Greater Food Bank of Cleveland to be able to give back and feed a couple families uh, here, here in Cleveland. So that was definitely a special thing. So um, I'm just happy to, you know, to, to be a part of something like this, special. All right, let's watch some football. Here's Mayfield, back to pass, looking, looking. He throws right corner of the end zone. Touchdown! They got it! It's Landry again! All right, we have a play here. We actually trying to get Odell. We trying to actually get Odell a touchdown here. So Odell's the one that's like running in motion from the top of the screen. And I mind you, on this play, under like the third foot read, then Baker gives me an opportunity to make a play, throws it up, high point it, take it from the defender, our ball, no nobodies. That was a good snack. Yeah, man. And you know, that's like against Miami. So like I was ready for that game. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> it's good to see me on this side, right? It's good to be yeah. on this side and not that side. How is it the feel to go against your old team? It was fun. It was like one of those games when I first, when I got traded. Yeah. And I had like a little bit in my heart. You know what I mean? Like I was just like, man, let me go. You know, like <laughs> um, that I circled on the calendar. Like I cannot wait till this game comes back up so I can, you know, so I can show them. You know what I mean? And, I, and that was actually one of my best days that day. So I was happy with the outcome. All right, what we got here? It's, a, it's called a dog blitz, that I uh, blitz. It's like they under center, so they was trying to do it under center. You tackling the running back, the quarterback, tackling everybody at the same time. <laughs> I love it. What number you wearing? Three, five? What number, what number that's, is that? That's number one, because they don't got six in them jerseys, so I wear number one in them. You rather be number six? Yeah. Why six? I don't know. I just like that number. It's like I, when I first came here, I picked a six. Damn, I, I just want to I stick, I stuck with it. I love it. I love it. That's kind of how I was with 80. Like my whole family wore it, the number 80. I was wondering why you changed your number to 80 when you came to the Browns. Well, see, I was going to stay 14 because that was the year I got drafted. And then I get to Cleveland, and one of the best players that ever played in a Cleveland Brown uniform, his name is Otto Graham. He actually wore number 14, and that number is retired. And so I was like, all right, I'll go back to the old 80, you know? I was heartbroken, though. It's another big play. This game, we playing against the Colts, and, you know, they play a lot of man coverage. And, you know, for me, I get a lot of snaps in the slot. So we went to run like an inside fade, just where we like being in the inside, lined up in the inside on a nickel corner and have an opportunity to run like a fade route from the inside. And Tandy threw a great ball and, you know, I made a great catch. I was hyped too. <laughs> you got up. <laughs> yeah, I was hyped, bro. I was hyped. You know, I try to keep that passion. You know, I try to play, you know, just play hard all the time have fun and then, you know, have that passion show up when, you know, other guys are making plays or if I have opportunity to make a play, just try to be passionate about it, you know? All right, what we got here? Under center, they kept running like, they run QB sneak, so like, I blitz every time they go under center. We only had nine men on the field, because it was like, it was like, I think it was a timeout and we were seven people in and out. They still can't block you. They're like, damn, him again? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good tackle too. Ultimately, like, we both love the game, right? We both want to be on the field, you know? And I think the safest way to play the game, you can still play safe and still play hard, you know what I mean? So by doing exactly what you did right here, it's perfect technique, head across, wrapping up as a runner, you know, as a ball carrier like myself, in, in, some, in most instances, you know, a guy makes a form tackle like this, I mean, it's like, again, not only just highlight tape material, but like teach tape, like that's how you teach people how to tackle by showing great examples like this of you, you know, doing the right things. Man, look, it's been fun just seeing your film, man. I love the player that I, I see, and I'm sure that starts with your mom and, and, and your dad raising you the right way, so just keep at it. I promise you, man, I'm looking forward to hearing your name on the, uh, on the stage one day.